What's up, everybody? Welcome to Political Fight Club. Uh, one of these days, I wish that I could just wake up and give you guys some good news. Uh, that's kind of odd. I'm going to get that taken care of here. Um, but I don't have good news for you today. Um, the Minneapolis Police Department is at it again, man. They, uh, there was an officer involved killing of a young black man yesterday. His name was Dante Wright. He was 20 years old. And I just watched the body cam footage and... Dude, I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> I'm so sick of this. Um, so let me tell you what happened. Um, in this suburb of Minneapolis, which if you remember correctly, that's where the George Floyd thing happened. This is the same department as Derek Chauvin's department. Um, I'm seeing a pattern here. I don't know about you guys. But uh, they pulled over 20-year-old Dante Wright for having an air freshener hanging from his rearview mirror, which is... It's illegal where they live. So that's what they pulled him over for. They found out after they were they had pulled him over that there was a warrant out for his arrest. Um, I'm not sure what for, but they found that out afterwards. So they were, uh, they were putting him in handcuffs outside the car. There were three officers, one on each side of the car, or two on the driver's side of the car and one on the uh, passenger side. And the body cam footage that I saw that shows the whole thing was from the female police officer on the driver's side who was not actually putting the handcuffs on right and she was the one who shot him so he tried to run as they were slipping the handcuffs on him he got in his he tried to jump back in his car he tussled with the uh male officer and then the female officer walked around or like kind of jogged around and she pulled her gun and she aimed it at his stomach and she shot him in the stomach and then he hit the gas, and the car takes off, and then there's, like, the other, all the other two cops are looking at her, like, uh, so, and then it cuts after that. And as it turns out, he did crash his car a couple of blocks later. Um, he was dead at the wheel, and his girlfriend was in the passenger seat when this all happened. And if I remember correctly, too, it, she was also on the phone with um, his mother, when this was all going down so the mother heard all of this on the phone ah it's rough um so um <clears throat> i'm sick of this man uh, i got two takes on it one take is is that the police chief came out in defense of the officer saying that she accidentally discharged her weapon and that she also meant to draw her taser so if I'm not mistaken, guys, don't police officers have the taser and the pistol on opposite sides of their belt? Um, because that is the exact reason why you would have things that have, you know, handles on opposite parts of your belt so that you don't mistake them if you have, you can't look down. Um, so apparently she doesn't know her right from her left. Yeah, I, is that not something you need to know to get on the uh, Minneapolis Police Department nowadays is your right from your left? So the defense is essentially, oh, she's not racist and violent for shooting this unarmed young black man. She's just too stupid to know which side is her taser and which side is her pistol. So that's frustrating. Uh, it's a ridiculous thing and uh, you know it's it's the excuses like that that are like well this is why we're going to defund the police because I don't I'm starting to not even care if it's a racist or a stupidity or a stupid racist problem could be any of the three I think it's a combination I don't I don't want to hear any more excuses we're going to just defund you <laughs> I I don't care what the problem is like if you guys can't get it together and you're not going to start calling out your own and cleaning this shit up which I've never seen any improvement in this in my entire fucking life and there certainly hasn't been any improvement since George Floyd was killed last summer. What, or is, how, how is there anything different this year? So uh, I would just be up for defunding the police and, of course, end qualified immunity, which they did in New York City. But I want it across the board. No more qualified immunity for police officers. My second take on this is that they will, uh, she won't get, she'll get like a slap on the wrist, the officer. She won't get the same kind of treatment that Chauvin did because she'll be able to claim that she feared for herself and that she'll just say I, i'm stupid i accidentally did it whereas chauvin you can't accidentally kneel on someone's neck for nine minutes so like his is so much more obviously malicious and had harmful intent whereas i think that she will they'll say that yeah you're trained to know better which is your taser and which is your pistol but 
she just, I mean, cops are dumb, like they're, and they'll cover for each other, so she'll probably lose her job, get relocated, and be back on the force before you know it. Um, last part of my take here is that this and other stuff, we should let this reignite the BLM movement and keep protesting, keep marching even harder than last summer. I don't ever uh, advocate for, you know, acts of violence or property damage, but motherfuckers, Minneapolis Police Department must, must absolutely want riots. It's like they want it. The National Guard was there. They clashed with uh, protesters last night. You know, the usual tear gas, rubber bullets. You know what we're going to see in the next 24, 48, 30, or 36 hours. We're going to see tons of protesters injured by, you know, scared police officers when all these people are trying to do is protest that their department keeps fucking killing black people that are unarmed for no reason. So it's going to get worse before it gets better, but let's let's take this stuff and keep running with it, man. Let's try to get qualified immunity across the board. Let's try to get defund the police up and going again, and maybe we'll get some stuff done this summer, but the only way we're going to get it done is if we do activism and hit the streets again. And I don't know, man. It, you know, it won't hurt my feelings. If, they keep, if the cops keep fucking doing this all summer, they're going to have some precincts burned to the ground, and you won't see me shedding a tear over that shit. I'm sick and tired of waking up and watching this shit. It, it's soul-crushing, and, you know, I'm tired of the excuses from police. Just a couple of bad apples. You know, I mean, there maybe is a little bit of racism, but it's just a couple of bad apples. Or there's just a little bit of aggression problems. Or uh, maybe we'll just do some sensitivity training here, or whatever. They never actually solve anything. Nobody ever gets in any trouble. There's never any type of accountability for these people. And I'm sick of it, man. Too many fucking innocent people killed by these people. This doesn't happen in other countries, by the way, guys. It doesn't happen in other countries. Um, a lot of other countries don't even ha allow their uh, police officers to have pistols. They have to work with either a taser or a baton or nothing. And they don't kill thousands of their own citizens every single year at, you know, traffic stops. So, uh, the world keeps turning, guys. I wish I had better news for you, but Dante Wright, rest in peace, man. I'm so sorry. In any other country, man, you'd still be alive. Uh, anyway, keep fighting the good fight out there, guys. Hopefully this doesn't have to happen too much more before we uh, really hit the streets.